Vaccines stimulate a person's immune system to produce immunity to a specific disease protecting the person from that disease. They contain weakened or dead disease-causing bacteria or viruses or even just a few proteins or sugars from its surface. Once stimulated by the vaccine, our body produces antibodies which will match the invading bacteria. Some white blood cells also become memory cells that remain sensitized and ready to respond to the bacteria if it should ever enter the body again. Unlike most medicines which treat or cure diseases, vaccines prevent them. Vaccines are usually administered by injection but some are given orally or even nasally. Vaccines do not only protect the immunized. When a sufficient number of individuals in a population are immune to a disease, herd immunity is achieved which means the pathogen cannot be spread throughout the population. According to the World Health Organization, there are now vaccines to prevent more than 20 life-threatening diseases including diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, influenza and measles. Yet, nearly 20 million infants have insufficient access to vaccines each year. India has the Universal Immunization Program, which is a vaccine delivery platform for children and pregnant women, funded by the central government and implemented by state governments. Although almost all children in India are vaccinated against tuberculosis and receive their birth dose of polio vaccine, two out of five children do not complete their immunization program, according to the Health in India report. Full immunization means that a child receives a cocktail of eight vaccine doses in the first year of life. Globally, innumerable COVID-19 vaccine trials are progressing, but availability will be limited at first. The World Bank has approved $12 billion in financing to help developing countries buy and distribute coronavirus vaccines, tests and treatments aiming to support the vaccination of up to 1 billion people.